Good morning, guys. Welcome to today, the day after Easter, when we can relax. And we were headed down to see our amazing horses. But today is actually the day we're going to have some heat. It's going to be 68 degrees here. 68. Like, I'm so grateful for 68 degrees. Weekends, we take turns. And I have a team and Sam has a team. Like, and we come down and we do chores. Today is a Monday, but it's a holiday. And I think everybody's confused because nobody's arrived yet except for me. So, my first solo mission, you guys. I'm strategically letting Stella out first because stuff in that bucket. Good girl. She's like, you're eight. Hey, don't you go there, Stella. Hey, Stella, oh my God. What are you thinking? You're thinking that I don't know what I'm doing? That's your supper time food. Ugh. Stella, don't tell anybody you guys. Make it seem like I did perfect. Willow won't hurt you. Whoops. I promise. Willow, you let him out. It's like dealing with kids. Willow, you get your butt out there right now and let him out. Come on, get going. Soon there will be a bigger field and you won't have a choice. Come on, Finny Finn. I know you want to go beside Stella because... Oh, you missed all the fun stuff. Yeah, letting the animals out. I think um, Finn. I let, I let Stella out first. Yeah, I did too. And Willow, and then. Yeah, I know what, what I'm doing. I did the same thing. Does Stella do anything bad when you let her out? No. My, me yeah. either. Never. Yeah, Yesterday, Brooklyn said to me uh, the words I've been dying to hear. You guys have seen in the past that she's been a little nervous on the horses. Yesterday she said, Nana, when you ride a horse, you never want to get off. And I was like, yes! I came home to Gabby, sitting on the couch, eating breakfast, eating chocolate. And what did you say to me? I forgot to put on my belt this morning. Is there anything else you forgot? No. Chores? I did chores yesterday morning, so. Today's Monday. Isn't it a holiday? No. But Sophia said the holiday. Um, uh, wait a second here. Horses, you don't get holidays. They still have to be done. Every one day on the weekend, you get a break. I did it yesterday, okay? I also did chores last night when it was your turn. You and Sophia's turn. So, I need this. <laughs> <laughs> but, chocolate for breakfast? No. Our, like, our family, literally, the day after, the morning after, like our parties, um, we eat like all the junk food for breakfast. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that is not gonna happen with me because I ate over eight yesterday. That was my one cheat day. Mom. Sophie is playing with her jewelry that she got for Easter, and we didn't get to show you guys really. So this is the pin. This is the snap that we got for Sophie. It's hard to see, but it's Sophie and Stella. And then it got put on this adorable bracelet and it's really soft and pretty. And then next I have this other little bracelet. It originally had the Stella and me charm, but then I changed it to the day by day one. Okay, let's see. See if we can show it to them. Properly show them this time. So it's this little charm bracelet. There we go. And it's got some other charms on it as well. So cute. And last but not least, I got these beautiful necklaces. Okay, so she got these necklaces. 
it comes in a pair and it's a beautiful necklace and you give it to your best friend let's wait let's see here so she has a picture of her and Stella and then on the bottom it says friends and the other piece says best and it yeah forms a heart so your friend should wear your picture and you should wear your friend's picture I got was super 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 affordable and amazing like I love this stuff and I'm gonna put the link in the description box if you guys want to order any of that stuff for yourselves it's great super affordable and it makes it a great gift for and it somebody has this little pouch. Yeah, and they got these little pouches to come with it. So super cool. Okay, so we have race car driver at our barn. First time ever being at our barn. And he brought this for me to try. I don't think it's going to fit me, but I don't know. Um, it is a Wintech, and I'm in love with Wintechs now. Ever since I sat in a saddle that was a Wintech, I fell in love with it. So we're going to try this and see if it fits any of our horses. Right. So... I'm thinking like even if it doesn't fit me it would be a great extra saddle for my grandkids because um, you guys saw yesterday everybody wanted to ride our horses and this would be such a much more comfy saddle. We need a pony saddle for yeah we're working on that. Does this fit Finn? Yep. So it fits Finn. It should. So the western ones are not, um, oh is it too tight here? I'm learning some so stuff. Have, once your pad's under it, it's, it's not tight. It's a uh, that's why it's more for Stella. It's a little bit wider in the... Okay. All right. It's way too small. There you go, Stella. <laughs> you, you hate it because it's plastic? Yeah. Uh, I like plastic. I'm a plastic kind of girl. Oh, no, it does fit her. Okay. It's nice and soft. Should we put a saddle pad on first? Do you have a Western one? No. You got nothing Western. <laughs> Listen, we have a lot of stuff in that room. Like, a year ago... <laughs> It's only been a year that we had a horse. Does that feel better? I, it just feels good. <laughs> like, I hate riding this long. Story. Like, it, it's probably too small on my butt, but it feels amazing. Like, amazing. I love Wintech. I would, I'm gonna be like the Wintech so spokesperson because every time I sit in a Wintech saddle, I just feel so comfortable. It feels amazing. Probably too small for me, but it feels amazing. Like, does it fit her? Look, it's digging right into her. I need to put a pad on it. So we are out in the side yard where it's all a big, huge mess, and race car driver is giving me ideas on where he thinks we should put the arena, the riding arena. So, so you I think... start it at the corner of the door here. Yeah. Come all the way out. And go all the way... And then go back. But it's so skinny. You don't need a huge string. And there's trees and tree stumps. We have chainsaws. Aren't they moving all the stuff? Yeah, this is all gonna go. go. Race car driver came, gave us some advice about our property, and um, then he told us the craziest news ever. And the craziest news is that we've been driving for an hour every time we need a grain, and there's five minutes from our house. There's another grain store, feed store, and they sell our brand of grain. So five minutes, yeah, we've been driving an hour, two hours, an hour there, an hour back. And so now it's just here. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> like, if we only and knew. Cheaper. And it's cheaper. Like, so crazy. Of the paddock with all the poop oh and I'm starving like so starving and we're gonna take our horses for a walk the girls are gonna ride we got to get into the habit of this I want this to be like a regular thing and I want Sam to fix the new paddock so the horses can all go out there all right now but before I do anything I'm gonna eat a salad I'm whoops I'm gonna add some turkey to my salad to give myself some protein and then we're gonna go on a good amazing walk to go for a walk with our horses we need to get into this routine Sophie's still really nervous but we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it well 
Um, this time, last time we did, if you guys saw the video, it did not go well. Last time, none of us had eaten. I didn't eat before we went. The horses, we went before lunch. So this time, we gave them a big lunch. And now we're gonna go. So since, whoops, since our last walk, um, a lot of you guys said put the bridle on underneath the halter. And we did look into that and ask our trainer how to do it. And we got it all set up. I need a lead rope there. And um, that's what we're gonna do for today's walk because remember St Finn is still, he just came out of a field. He was in a field for eight months. So he's not perfect yet, right Soph? Mm -hmm. And that's okay, so, and Sophie's nervous, so we did do that. We're leaving Willow home. All the things you guys suggest, it might not seem like we ever listen, but I take everything you guys say and run it by my trainer to see if some of those things would make our life easier, and often they do. So Gabby is um, getting all the energy out of Stella before we head out, because don't forget, they just had a big lunch. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, she's fast. And Gabby's like, yeah, she's faster than Storm. Without spurs, without a whip, she's just fast. Yeah, are you waiting, Gabby? Patiently waiting. Stella's like, let's get out of this place. Willow's like, you're not leaving without me. <laughs> this is not going to go well. Willow, you're not coming. I'm really sorry. And I would put her in her stall. You're not coming. I'm very sorry, but you're not coming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, nope, it's not going to happen. Poor Willow. All right, so we have a change of plans. How come we have a change of plans? Because Finn's being a butt face. <laughs> Finn being a butt face. Basically, all of his all attitudes. Just shaking his head while Sophia is trying to get off. Abby just jumped on top of this horse. He didn't even shake his head. He didn't even shake his head once. He feeds off emotion in a huge way. Like Sophia gets so nervous, and we're back to the first horse Sophia got. <laughs> Do you see the irony in this? So, she won't even run forward. She'll so yeah, so it's working out well. Gabby's kind of like teaching Finn, like, yeah, if you want to act crazy, then we'll go for a jog for a yeah, trot. Like and what do you think about I Stella? I'm riding her for every single trip. Yeah. Just hold on tight. It'll be alright. All your life. To be a good man inside Did everything that you thought you should Didn't seem to do you any good This is glorious. It's beautiful outside. Got my short, short sleeves on. Oh, it feels amazing, you guys. What? Um, this is how relaxed I feel. I, I can just relax. Mom's doing all the work. Yeah. So Finn saw a bird. There was a bird. It was a little more than he was expecting. Stella did nothing. What did Finn do? Dropped to the ground and did the spread eagle. <laughs> how did that feel? Uh, it was smooth. Gabby's used to it. Cause Storm <laughs> Finn has a smooth. When he gets to go for. Hopefully this guy slows right down. Or can we get over a bit more? So loud. Yeah, tractors are really loud. Don't step on my feet, Stella. You're okay, Finn. No, I was playing with the bit. You're okay. 
Slow down. Slow down, put your arm down. Go, uh, make him tell him to slow down. So that's the girl. That's it, thank you. Good boy. Good boy. You're okay, oh God. Good girl. Stella's like, woohoo. <laughs> She's like, okay, enough with the stopping. Let's get going. So adorable. And Finn is like, I do not like cows. The brown one. Some horses don't like cows though. He's just not used to seeing cows. They're not, they're okay with seeing us. They're just watching. All right, so we have passed the farthest we've ever gone. And we saw a dog off a leash up there, so we decided not to risk it. Right? Spider. You're a yeah, good boy, Finny Finn. Oh, All right, yeah, Stella. All right, go ahead. This horse is amazing. The craziest Stella's thing just happened. Awesome. And this is where it gets crazy. Stella's like, grass! Anyway, so we were walking down the street. We met our neighbor. No, Stella. We met our neighbor, and she's like, hey, I got like trails and grass and fields. You want to ride through them? And we were like, oh, yes! <laughs> We are about to take over this pasture. Like there's our barn. Yeah, and this is her pasture. She said we can ride in it. She said we can ride in it. All right, so this is the gate onto our property from, from where we just were. Don't give up. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.